A woman with a big belly was lying on the railing, taking pictures of her husband and daughter downstairs. But accidentally, the railing suddenly broke. The husband rushed to get up to rescue, but still a step too late. His wife was thrown to the ground. Luckily, he was able to get her to the hospital in time, but only one of the twins survived. I thought they could live happily ever after. Until the day the man came home to find the house in a terrible state. His wife and daughters were gone, and the safe in his room had been man-set. At that moment, he found that the parcel delivered in the morning had been opened, and a photo inside caught his attention, which showed his wife with two strange men. While the man was puzzled, his cell phone suddenly rang. When he answered the phone, he realized it was his daughter, but strangely enough, no one was talking, and all that came out was the cries of seagulls. The man thought they must be in the beach house he bought before, so he quickly drove there. When he arrived at the destination, he saw his two daughters playing with a baby stroller. The man thought it was strange, and when he got closer, he realized that the stroller was stuffed with shells and debris. When he lifted them out, he found that his youngest son had lost his idle signs, and the man was devastated by the sight. After adjusting his emotions, he came to the house and asked his wife what was going on. But at this time, the wife seems to have a seizure. She no longer recognized the man in front of her. The man had no choice but to take her to his mother-in-law to understand the situation. After a conversation, the man learned that his wife was not suffering from postpartum depression. But when she was 14 years old, she suffered a violation of the schizophrenic disease. The man had to send his wife home to rest first. He didn't expect his neighbor to sneak into his wife's room that night when the man wasn't there. The neighbor sneaks into the girl's room every day. He took out an unknown pill and coaxed her to take it, but the woman fainted right after eating it. The husband realized something was wrong and rushed home, but the door was locked and he couldn't get in. Then a man suddenly appeared behind him, and upon closer inspection, he realized it was the man in the photo. Everyone said he was the murderer of his wife, but he was wrongly accused. It turns out that 20 years ago, he and the woman were good friends. One night she came to him with a camera case, and they hid it together. On the way home, it touched the woman, and she suddenly started screaming. And when she was stimulated, she lost her memory instantly, and he was somehow taken as a prisoner, and was only released a few days ago. He realized that the box he had hidden before was still there, so he took it out and sent it here. He hopes that the woman will see his photos and recall her previous memories and come forward to prove his innocence. He also took out a few photos and told the man that there was evidence of the murderer. It turns out that the ring in the murderer's hand was accidentally captured during the photo shoot, and this ring is exactly the same as the ring in the neighbor's hand. The man went to the neighbor's house with the evidence. Seeing that things were getting out of hand, the neighbor took out his pistol and was ready to kill the man. When it fired, the man was fine, but the neighbor was injured, and it was his wife who rushed over with the pistol. When she woke up, she saw the photo on the table and recalled her past memories. When the wife was about to open the box and kill the neighbor, the husband stopped her because he couldn't stand by and watch his wife go to jail. But the man just couldn't take it. He shot the neighbor and threw him in front of the police station and placed all kinds of evidence at his feet. The movie ends with a couple living happily ever after with their children. I just don't know why the family buried the man under the sand. We'll see you in the next installment.